gear in the dressing room at the Royal Opera House as it lies in readiness for a ballerina about to prepare for the dual role of Odette and Odile, the white and black swan in Swan Lake, one of the most famous and well-loved ballets in the classical canon. But it didn't start out that way. In 1877, at its first premiere, the critics were unanimous. Swan Lake was a disaster. The choreography, unremarkable. The dancing, subpar. The story, stupid. And the music, too Wagnerian, too symphonic, and just too noisy. But just as Odette never truly gives up on her prince, so choreographer Marius Petipa never truly gave up on Swan Lake. And in 1895, he mounted a new production with revised music and reimagined choreography. This time, a beautiful swan was born. 